What is going on guys, Dalton here back with another episode of DC Collects. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to identify a fake Funko Pop as well as how not to get scammed online buying Funko Pops. Let's get collecting. Guys, this is one of the most heavily faked pops right now. It is massively fake. There's tons of fakes on the market, and so much so that it's actually brought the overall value of the pop down. This pop's currently sitting at around $850, sometimes $9, $950. To be honest, this should be at least a $1,500 pop, guys, but because it's being faked so much, the price has been driven down. So how did I purchase this Funko Pop with out getting scammed so first up guys is going to be the pop logo itself and I get a good shot of it there but as you can see there are small dots inside of the actual logo itself and as you can see too it starts very prominently so you can see the dots very well at the top where it's darker yellow in the pop logo and as it goes down to where it fades to a lighter shade of yellow so does the dots so the dots should fade as it as they get towards the bottom of the pop logo so towards the bottom portion here they will almost be gone barely visible and at the top they should be prominently seen and as you can see they fade right down to the bottom so that is how all real Funko Pop logos look. On the fakes, you'll commonly see that there is either no dotted pattern or that the dotted pattern is very prominent throughout the entire logo. So there's no fading whatsoever. That's one thing that sticks out like a sore thumb to me on a fake Funko Pop. Okay, next up guys, we have the outline of the actual artwork on the box itself. So, as you can see, this outline, the white outline around the artwork, this is very consistent in its thickness. So all the way around, it's pretty much the exact same thickness. But on a fake Funko Pop, guys, you're going to notice that this outline, it could either be really skinny to the point that it's actually touching the artwork that's on the box, or it will be super fat. So it could be in varying differences. So it could be that it starts off fat and gets skinny, so super close to the artwork, or vice versa, start off skinny and get fat. That's another big red flag for a fake Funko Pop. Next, guys, we have the price of the Funko Pop. If you see a Funko Pop that is just a ridiculously good deal, like just too good to be true, it is, definitely. So that's a huge red flag, guys. If you see a pop like for example like I said this is around an $850 pop so if I had have seen this pop for say $400 even right away red flags bells ringing that's definitely I'm not making that purchase 100% not it's just too good to be true and that's the reality of it the only time you're going to get a Funko Pop for way cheaper than it should be is when that person literally has no idea what they actually have, which isn't very common nowadays. Most e eBay sellers on any platform are very knowledgeable about what they're selling, and that does not happen very often at all. Or maybe your friend actually just wants to hook you up. Maybe he's been collecting Funko Pops for a really long time, and now he just wants to hook you up, and he's a really good friend and that's the benefits of having great friends. But those are the only two times that you're gonna see a Funko Pop for a price that is just crazy, too good to be true, like half price, even at even at $500, I'd be weary about it. Like some people maybe just need money, but that's just way too much to be giving up. If you're enjoying this content, consider hitting that like button, smashing that subscribe button. I make four to five videos a week on everything Funko. So if that's something you're into, hit that little bell notification too, and that way you won't miss any more content. Okay, next, you're gonna wanna take a look at the bottom sticker, guys. So this is a bit of a combination of things, but you'll see 
This is the font, and you can even see that the sticker has a bit of wear to it. So it's actually, it looks a little dirtier than the white on the box, and that's because the stickers weren't made to withstand the test of time like the boxes were. So that sticker, it looks a little bit aged, which is a good sign, and the fonts are all exactly the same. So when I say that, guys, you are going to have to go out and try and find a picture of a real pop that you know to be real 100%. A great way to do this is to get into the community, get into the Funko community, start following channels like DC Collects, subscribe. That will help you big time, guys. You could even message me. I'll drop my Instagram down below, but you could message me, see if I have the real pop, and I would gladly show you some pictures. But same goes for any community that you are in. Maybe you're in a Facebook group, any type of Funko Pop group, reach out to people in that community and see if they have the pop that you want to purchase and try and get pictures of this sticker and the whole pop in general, obviously. But you want to make sure that the fonts are exactly the same and the stickers in general just look the same. So that's a big one for fake Funko Pops is you'll notice on the fakes, that font is always way different uh, Funko must have some type of special font that no one can get their hands on or it must be hard to print it on those stickers because all the fakes I've seen have a totally different font on that sticker than the real one. Okay, so next up we're going to have basically where it's sold from, guys. So unfortunately, if you do see, no matter what platform you're buying off of, if you see that that product is coming from China, then it unfortunately it's probably fake I, I'm gonna say it's a red flag right there most of the fakes that's where they're coming from so Funko does produce their vinyl figures in China but they're not distributed and sold out of China in most cases very 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 rarely are they actually sold out of China you'll see what country of origin they're from so for me if they're from Canada or the United States that's what I'm looking for I do not want to see that they're coming from China that's definitely a red flag for me and that does lead me into eBay guys I did want to just touch real quick on eBay and make sure you stick around to the end of the video guys these are tips that I learned by making costly mistakes buying stuff so if you don't want to make those costly mistakes make sure you watch till the end okay guys so as I said this is mostly gonna pertain to eBay but it can definitely be applied very easily to other online purchases at basically any online store and I'll explain that as we go along so first things first especially on eBay you want to make sure they have 100% feedback so you go to the feedback section click feedback and you can also find all the their transactions there and you're gonna see what everybody has had to say about them as a seller so you definitely want to go through those make sure those are looking okay and not only that guys but you also want to make sure for me personally anyway that they have at least a hundred transactions under their belt you want to make sure you're dealing with an experienced seller someone who's done this a hundred times before and knows exactly what they're doing not only that but you want to make sure that those transaction numbers and you do this by looking at the feed back you want to make sure that those are actual sells because buys will also show up so if they buy something from someone else that shows up as a transaction number so you want to go make sure you scroll through all the feedback and make sure that they are commenting that he was a good seller not a buyer okay number two on the list guys we're gonna make sure that this seller that you have picked out sells other types of collectibles and preferably other types of Funko Pops that are like the one you you want to pick up so if it's an old school Marvel pop you would like to see old school pops yeah but you definitely want to make sure they're at least selling collectibles preferably Funko pops if you go to the page and they're selling like a bunch of furniture and then this one really expensive pop that's kind of fishy to me and when things smell fishy definitely get out of there guys not only that but when you see a bunch of Funko pops slash collectibles on their page that they've sold that's why I say preferably Funko pops because then you know that they have had experience with Funko Pops and that they would be able to recognize a fake even themselves because some of these fakes are getting really good out there guys so a really inexperienced seller could also accidentally sell a pop I'm 
gonna guess that most people are out there trying to scam people but it could happen next on the list guys number three and this is a pretty big one guys so I'm telling you right now you want to get on a desktop computer or a laptop with a big screen this is gonna make a huge difference guys in your viewing and also your capabilities online so you don't want to use the app especially on your phone your phone is no matter how big the phone is, it's going to be a compressed image compared to a desktop screen or a large laptop screen. And you may miss small imperfections on your phone that you would easily see on your desktop. Not only that, but everything is much easier to see and just interact with on the website, I find. All your contact information for your seller is on one side. The description is right down below. All the seller's other items. Everything is in one central location, so you're not scrolling up and down a page trying to look for everything, which can get confusing and you can lose track of things. The only thing I like the app for on your phone is if you are doing an auction style bid and you're trying to keep track of something, obviously to use your phone to track it. But when it comes time to scouting out the pop before you're deciding to bid on it, you have to be on a desktop big screen, guys. And as big as you can get preferably okay number four on the list and this is going to be communication with your seller so no matter how many pictures they have up no matter how good the description is if you personally want to see say more pictures or you just want to ask the seller say where did you get the Funko Pop from or how did you acquire the Funko Pop if that seller is unwilling to communicate uh, provide more pictures provide you with an explanation as to how he got the pop and he's refusing to do so that right there is a huge red flag for me guys that's kind of like a store owner having a display of something in the corner and you can only see half of it and him telling you that that you can't see the other half you have to buy it like that like it's just too sketchy for me and I would immediately stop dealing with that person if there's no communication okay number five on the list and this is check the shipping and import charges guys just check your import charges and shipping charges especially on auction style because sometimes you it doesn't factor in the import charges as to what you're going to pay and some sellers will basically stick hidden fees in the import charges so so you'll see them charging something ridiculous like 500 bucks for an import charge and the items a hundred dollars so you end up paying sick like basically they're gonna sneak in hidden amounts of money into the import charges hoping that you don't see it so just always make sure you double check your shipping and import costs if you're enjoying this content consider hitting that like button smashing that subscribe button i make four to five videos a week on everything funko so if you enjoy stuff like that hit that little bell and that way you won't miss any more content number six on the list guys always carefully read the description this is this may seem obvious but i think a lot of people overlook this sometimes in the description too if it does come from china and they're trying to be a legit seller so a fake chinese version they will state that in the description full disclosure on that but if they're trying to scam you they're not going to put that in there it, basically a lot of the listings that i see now too guys they're not saying the condition of the item because some people are pickier than others and I'm sure they've had people have had return issues and whatnot what they do is provide pictures and they say carefully examine the pictures to determine the condition of this product so what that does and this is a big disclaimer that takes the onus off that seller if you're not happy with the condition of the Funko Pop when it comes in basically so if if you looked at all the pictures and it says in the description it's up to you to look at the, the pictures to determine the condition of that Funko Pop if you don't like it when it comes in the condition and there's nothing wrong with the packaging it clearly hasn't been tampered with and it's just your opinion that the Funko Pop isn't as in good condition as you thought it was that is totally your fault and eBay is not going to give you a refund because you had the opportunity to overlook those pictures as much as you want to so make sure you look at these pictures guys number seven and the biggest reason that I told you guys to make sure you're on a desktop and or a large laptop screen is to make sure that they have all six sides of the Funko Pop photograph in HD pictures guys so you can see every 
last square inch of this pop down to the littlest minute detail okay so this has to be perfect pictures and like i said before if you're not happy with the pictures you ask the seller for more pictures and at that point if he won't provide you with them that's a red flag and you're going to walk away from the funko pop so as i said the big screen really comes in handy here so if they have all six pictures in really good quality photos you can select each individual photo and go over them with your mouse as if they were a magnifying glass and you can really go over this pop with a fine tooth comb guys it's actually really great and I I, I had made purchases off my phone before and after I found the desktop I'll never ever ever do it with my phone again and for all you great people of the DC Army who stuck around to the end of the video I do have a little bit of a bonus one so on the bottom of every Funko Pop basically sometimes on the foot I got my three liter figure guys because it's way easier to see the actual font but so this is another one again you're you might want to get your hands or ask a friend to see the font that's on the figure that you're wanting to purchase but generally speaking that is the exact font that Funko uses and you'll see another trademark on the other side too on the other foot so on fake Funko Pops guys those always look like way messed up sometimes they're not even legible but they don't look professional at all like at least like they're all at least Funko has them all the exact same font spacing you know nicely laid out on the foot it you'll see on a fake every single time if you go to look at that it's going to be messed up font some, like i said sometimes not legible maybe some of the ink is smudged it just always looks terrible and if you have a seller that is not willing to show you a picture of that on the bottom of the funko pop or wherever it's located on the funko pop again huge red flag guys do not buy that funko pop anyways guys to end the video i just wanted to say so how i did get this Funko Pop is my friend, longtime friend, who's been collecting Funko Pops for basically since the beginning of Funko. I'm pretty lucky, but he hooked me up with this one. So I was super, super lucky. And that's going to be my final tip for this video, guys, is all of these things are going to significantly reduce the risk of you buying a fake Funko Pop. But at the end of the day, the best way to know that you're not buying a fake Funko Pop is to get it from someone that you trust. You know and trust them. You've known them for a long time. You trust them. You know for a fact that there's no way in the world they're going to rip you off. And and you can still do your verifying, but at that point for me, that's the best way to buy an expensive Funko Pop or a Grail, uh, something that is a significant investment for you. Anyways, guys, I hope this video helped some people. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll catch you in the next video.